Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall be showing you how to affect the playback of your score using playback options here in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. By default, Dorico is configured with features that enhance the playback of your music by interpreting the markings you add to notes and systems. You can see this in action at the most fundamental level by adding tempo or dynamic markings and seeing how they affect the speed and dynamics of the music. Dorico also understands markings such as playing techniques, and we've seen in a previous video how you can use expression maps to play back certain music using different sounds when Dorico encounters, for example, a pizzicato marking. You'll notice that Dorico plays back articulations such as accents and staccato marks. And hear how this passage of music is affected by adding slurs. As you would expect, Dorico handles these types of behaviors using options. And in this case, it's the playback options, which you can find in the play menu in play mode or by using the key command Control Shift P. That's Command Shift P on Mac from anywhere in the program. The options are organized into categories. Here, we're looking at the Dynamics playback options. This first option gives you control over how quickly different intensity levels, such as PP, P, MP, and so on, move through the dynamic range. Then you can add a little stress to downbeats and other beats and set how much louder accents and marcatos will sound. You can also control how much moving through dynamic levels are randomized and so giving a more human feel to a performance. By way of example, let's make an over-the-top edit to how loudly accents play back. In the timing category, you can set the nominal playback value of notes and how they are affected by staccato and other articulations, including slurs. You can slightly randomize the start position of notes, which again humanizes the playback. How grace notes, tremolos, and arpeggios playback are also given options you can control. You can even control the various aspect of pedal lines, including how quickly retakes are performed. When played durations is active, the play mode piano roll shows how the timing playback options affect notes. Again, let's make a few ridiculous changes so you can see them in action. So, for example, I can really reduce the duration of all default notes and then shorten staccato notes even more. And bumping the humanized start positions of notes right up shows how this random effect is applied. In this example, we see how changing the option for how single unslashed grace notes play back can really affect the performance. If you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And please subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.